these are the people from the diaspora who visited Asimansu, the place called the Last Bath, where slaves were given a special tag at their back and were sold to customers who took them out of the shores of Ghana. It's called the Ocho River, and I'm going from the far end, coming to called the Oche River. Oche is also an account where that means something that grabs. So when our ancestors got to this place, this place in chains and shackles, there used to be a very thick and tall silk cotton tree where the small palm tree is. But it fell. And our brothers and sisters, aunties and uncles who have visited, have been taken part of this until we got to it. We are yet to replace it with the exact same species, but we wanted to keep the space with the palm tree. So for our ancestors, when they got here, the still cotton tree has a nature that it has thorns all around it to the top. So when they came here, because they were in numbers, they had to keep them chained around the top. So that in case you want to struggle to escape, you pull the chain and then you pull the next person closer to you to the thorns and then it's yes, it's yes. Like, so that was the branding being done. Yeah. Branding. So here they will take them to the river. And after them taking their bath, they will now bring them out here. The bath, the bathing process was also another case because they went in there in chains and shackles. You see, from this spot to the river, it's too steep. So they couldn't go from here, but rather they went through this spot. <coughs> around the hill, still in the chains and shackles, so they went around it to get to them. In there they had the metal round ball, the cannon ball, mm. added to the chains around their ankles to be used in the river. So that particular ball was weighing them down, mm. so that it could prevent them from escaping. In there they tried to take off their beds from their own cells, but when they saw them doing that, they thought they were consoling each other. So they had to find ways and means. One of them uh, method used was to use the itchy leaves of the bamboo to clean them up. Using that was also bruising them. After that was done, they brought them out here, lined them up, allowed them to get dried. Once they got dried, it was then that they went ahead to apply the shea butter or palm oil on them for them to look more presentable and attractive enough for the buyers to come here to buy. Our ancestors in the chains and shackles were lined up here. The buyers have already arrived. They were lodging in one of the rooms in the community. So when the pe uh, people are now okay to be purchased, then they will invite them here to buy them. Already they have their branding tools, forged with metal, sometimes in their, with their, in their initial, sometimes with a logo. So depending on the group or company that is here to purchase, that's what exactly you are going to get. We know that there used to be groups like the Barclays group of companies. Queen Elizabeth actually had to fund some of the ships to be here to purchase people, so they have the royal seal with them to pick captives from here. Manchester group of company, Liverpool group of company, lots of them were here. So after buying you, they brand you with the metal and they take you to the Cape Coast Castle. So we call this particular site the first, the first branded because one, you are being purchased for the first time and the person will have to brand you for the first time. Mm -hmm. It happens that some of them were bought by middlemen. And those middlemen, after branding you here, when they sell you to somebody else, the person will have to rebrand you. And some of our ancestors got multiple brandings before they left the shores or the coast of Africa. Today we are here. And then we are here on a spiritual journey. So we are going to observe something. You see this pillar, this pillar behind me is named the last part. So the river down there was where our ancestors took their last part. This is painted back the, uh, black, with black paint. It's nothing evil. But we want our brothers and sisters and aunties and uncles out there to understand the fact for the fact that since then, during the time when our ancestors were in the chains and shackles, when we talk about the history of Africa that particular era happened to be the darkest time in the history of Africa and we shouldn't forget about that. So this is more like a reminder. Mm -hmm. Then we have the first bath of return. 
Sometimes we call it the Sankofa healing bath. Because as you are on a healing journey, you take a bath. I know I understand that you do take your bath in the hotels, but this is more spiritual. You do this with a Sankofa. Going back to your roots to get that which your ancestors left behind. They left their tradition, their culture, their identity. And once you are back home to the uh, motherland, you do say, you go there, you wash your hands, you wash your feet, you observe some silence moments and then pray to them. They are still here with us. So that's exactly what we are also going to do.